Hey everyone, I'm going to do my FabFitFun uh, unboxing video. I already opened my box. So for those of you who don't know what FabFitFun is, it is a subscription box. You get up to maybe eight to maybe nine or 10 items. Um, and the box retail value is up to $250 or, or more. And you only get it for $50. And it's not monthly, it is seasonal, which is nice. Um, they also let you customize. They also have um, add-ons as well. Um, add-ons you can just add add on to your box and it will ship with it for free. Like you don't have to pay, ac um, pay extra for the shipping for that. Um, so I think it's a really good deal. And this stupid train is interrupting this video. I will pause this. Okay, I'm back now. The train, I live right next, but next to a train and it was passing by and I'm like, oh. Anyway, I couldn't have that over me talking. Anyway, moving on from that. So each um, FAFFA Fun Box comes with a little magazine. Um, this is what it looks like. They always have a different um, celebrity or person on the front, um, and they have articles about about things that are going on. So in this case, uh, the issue would be uh, it's Gabby du uh, Douglas on staying home, but staying connected. That's what it says on the front. And also, what I really like about these is it gives you all the items, so when you customize, you get to pick any of these items. So when they have customization one, you would pick one, I believe, out of these six, I think. Um, and if you want to get more, you would uh, pay an extra $15 per item. Um, and the same goes on this side as well as here, and then this is the nine items that you do not customize, they pick for you. They used to always pick for you. They never did customization, but I think a lot of people uh, didn't like that. Even though like the idea, it's nice to have a surprise, sometimes people always ended up with something that they didn't really like or feel that they were gonna use. So they have made things a lot better over time. Um, so that's that with the magazine. I will go over retail prices uh, towards the end of the video. So one of the items is Pottery Barn Mason Home Scent Collection in Solstice Diffuser. I'm not gonna take this out of the box for now, but I will probably show a picture later of what it would look like set up. One of the next items I chose was the Michael Kors Travel uh, Wallet for your passport. Um, you can put your cards in here and then your passport as well. I actually don't, I have like a standard passport wallet. I haven't really gone anywhere with it besides Italy in 2012. Um, I would like to travel more, but unfortunately with this pandemic and everything going on, not much traveling is being done for me at this moment. Um, but I still think this is cute and I still at least go to the grocery store every once in a while. So hey, I can have a new wallet and have a choice right here. And it goes with everything. So it's very generic, which is good. Next that I really like is the Giving Keys, Ending Homelessness Through Employment. Um, I think this is a really cute necklace. It is silver and it's delicate, which is my style, and it's about time because they used to usually always have gold or rose gold jewelry, and that's why a lot of the time I never pick their jewelry, even if I like it. I always prefer silver, um, but that's what it looks like if you can see it. Okay. Um, this item I actually paid extra for, but this was one of the items you can choose from, and they've had this in previous boxes before. This is the Art & Co. Television Perfect Hair Conditioner and Shampoo. Um, both of these, I already know that they retail for $64 for both of them, so they're each $32. Um, I already got these in a previous box. Art & Co. is a good brand. I have their dry shampoo. Um, I have um, a couple of other products. So. I have a couple other products by this brand and they're a really good brand and they're usually really pricey so I like that FabFitFun's affiliated with them because then I can get these at a dis more discounted price. So I really like that and I'm still currently using the shampoo that's what I used earlier today which is why my hair's all over the place. Um, so one of my other items, <laughs> this I was really excited for, it is the Lifestyle Co. Los Angeles Beach Mist Botanical After Sun Spray. And it smells like lavender. It smells really nice. For both of my takes, the first one, I was just very funny. I was like, ooh, this smells nice. Second time, I 
pretty much sprayed it and inhaled it by accident and started coughing all over the place. But I am going to do this again and spritz on my face and try not to breathe it in. Okay. It's light, it's refreshing, and it does smell lavender, but not in like a bad way, because some of these products, when they have like a lot of lavender, I'm picky when lavender's in a smell, and sometimes it's very, um, it can be strong, it's a little too meh to me. Um, but in this case, I really like it, and it's refreshing, and I'll probably just use this to cool down my face in general, or moisturizing. I believe there is, yeah, it's lavender, mint, and, um, there was one other thing in there, but I don't remember what it was. Okay. Next is Terre Mare Aloe and Tea Tree Toner. This is what the box looks like. It's fancy. I actually needed a new toner. Um, I don't think I'm pronouncing this correctly, but the bottle is pretty heavy, and it's gold and red and pretty. And I usually like spray toners, but this will have to do. I actually was running out of toner. I've been trying to like, eh, I'm spilling all over the place. It doesn't really smell like anything, to be honest. I feel like I'm pouring water on my skin. It has a light, light smell to it. It has aloe and tea tree. Uh, it's an aloe and tea tree, tea, eh, aloe and tea tree toner, um, which aloe will be soothing, and I hear tea tree is good for like um, breakouts or acne. Um, even witch hazel, I believe, is good for that, too. So, I have a friend who's an esthetician, and why is my hair all over the place? And she will recommend a lot of that stuff. So, I can't wait to try it. Um, I have three more items. Well, actually, four. One of them wasn't an item that actually came with the box. It was uh, it, sort of an add-on bundle. So, these three items come from the nine that were, um surprises so this one is Turaco foot cream uh, Sicilian blood oranges which I'm happy I got this and it smells good it's orangey and mentally it kind of reminds me <sighs> I can't think of it right now it's reminding me of some type of I don't want to say orange juice but there is like a drink like more like one of those like fresh squeezed um, you know, like, well, with blood oranges, when they make that, like, when I was in Italy, they made this, like, carrot juice with blood oranges, and it was, like, fresh with, um, like, they put ice in it. I'm making myself thirsty right now. <laughs> I'm, like, thinking about that. Um, no, but this smells really good, and it's a foot cream, um, <clears throat> and it's by Cali Cosmetics. It's about time I finally got that brand right, because I actually can't read the brand back here, and every time I've taken this video, I'm always like, Cali, what is that? I can't read it. So... Um, that's the foot cream, and I'm excited to try that. It'll be very moisturizing, so. And... and the next thing that came in here was sponge gel hand cream and coconut verbena, um, infused with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, and argan oil. So that's what this is right here. Um, if you don't know what sponge gel is, they make those body wash infused, um, buffers or loofahs. Uh, I really like those. My favorite scent, I would say, is papaya yuzu. I've heard of sponge gel through FabFitFun. They usually have them in their add-ons. Um, they have other scents, too. One of them is beach grass that's really fresh and that smells really good. Papaya yuzu is just, like, super fruity. I really like that one. Um, of course, I would assume that this is also a scent. They have a bunch of other ones. I can't think of them all at once. Um, so this is one of those items, a hand cream. And it smells really good, by the way, too. Um, it honestly... It reminds me of anything that smells like coconut verbena. If you know Bath and Body Works, I remember even back when I was in high school, <laughs> coconut verbena was like, there was also cu uh, cucumber melon and the peony smelling one. Those like three were like the most popular scents at the time with like the hand sanitizers that everybody had <laughs> when I was in high school. Um, but yes, it reminds me of that same kind of smell and it's just coconutty and it smells good. Um, not the cheap kind of coconutty either, so, and it's also light and it's not too strong. I do not like hand creams or lotions or things that smell too strong because they give me a headache, so. And last but not least, you get the Winky Luxe uh, Unibrow Pencil. Um, 
So what's nice is it's like a universal brown. I actually put on a little bit of makeup for this video. <laughs> so I actually use this. So what I used to pencil my eyebrows was this, which actually what's nice about it is my eyebrows will look more natural when I put this on. I have another powder that I use to pencil in when I do my eyebrows. And that one's a little bit darker, which this one is a little bit more neutral. So I think this actually goes with my hair color a little bit more than the last one um, that I usually use. Okay, and mm, are you gonna fit in there? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> so those are my items, and one of the other ones, when I got a bundle, they did a care package bundle, you get three masks. I'm only gonna show one, because the other two I'm getting giveaway. Um, so they either came in this floral print, so this is one of them, and uh, the other two I got were green with black polka dots. Um, so I'm gonna put this on as demonstration. I have hoop earrings on, so <laughs> they might go over my hoops a little bit. <laughs> Stare. So this is what it looks like. It's a nice um, print, so um, I ordered a bunch of other masks that don't have to do with FabFitFun. So this one was a nice one though, um, and it will do because I only had one other cloth one and I was getting tired of the same um, print on it. So I was like, oh, it was something different. Um, so that is that with my box. And I'm just gonna go over the retail prices. Um, so the retail prices, I'm gonna go over. So with customization one, you could have chose between the Draper James straw bag with floral scarf, um, which retails for $75. Um, the next one was Pottery Barn Mason Ceramic Diffuser in Solstice, which retails for $59. Uh, Do Not Age with Dr. Brandt Triple Peptide Eye Cream, which um, retails for $82. L Space Tie Dye Towel, which uh, retails for $58. Yumi Kim Wireless Charging Pad, which retails for $35. Lashes MD uh, Eyelash Conditioner retails for $69.95. So these were the six items. I, I think these were all in customization one, if you can see them. Um, this is what the diffuser I got would look like. So. Um, in the next section, we have the Michael Kors Bedford Travel uh, Passport Wallet, which retails for $78. Isaac Mizrahi uh, Blue and White Kimono, which retails for $59. Uh, then we have the Business and Pleasure Co. Cooler Bag, which retails for $59. R&Co. Co Television Perfect Hair Shampoo and Conditioner, which retails for $64. Uh, Hydro Peptide Moisture Reset Face Oil, which retails for $120. I did not get the face oil. I think that was in a previous box. I don't usually like face oils. I have combination skin, so I'm skeptical about face oils if they are. I'm like, they're either maybe going to help or they're going to make me break out. Um, the Giving Keys Mini Necklace uh, is retails for $45. And then there was two different sunscreens you could have chosen by Kula. So there was a Mineral Face Organic Matte Finish Sunscreen Lotion for SPF 30. And the other one was Mineral Face Matte Finish Cucumber Sunscreen Lotion SPF 30. And both of them retail for the same price of $36. Um, and then, oh wait, and I'll just show you what they all look like in the picture. Right there, okay. And the next one is Tom Sydney Sunglasses, which retail for $58. The Dry Bar Pep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler, which retails for $23. Uh, the Silked Satin Pillow Sleeve retails for $29.50. Uh, the Black Peel-Off Mask and Hydrogel Eye Mask retails for uh, $59. The Terre Mer Aloe and Tea Tree Toner uh, retails for $54. The Isaac Mizrahi Loves XO Sienna Vase retails for $28. Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream, which is really good by the way, I have it in a different box, retails for $65. Uh, Zoe Alio Ice Roller retails for $30, and then the Lifestyle Co. Beach Mist retails for $42. Um, and then that's those items in this picture. And then, of course, my next one. Um, these are the nine items. You could have gotten three of any of these. 
So the Amica Brooklyn Bombshell Blowout Spray retails for $25. The Winky Lux Unibrow uh, Universal Eyebrow Pencil retails for $16. The Murad Essential Sea Cleanser retails for $40. Brace and Stella Hy Hyaluric Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum retails for $25. The Cali Cosmetics Foot Cream with Menthol in Taraco uh, retails for $24. Sponge Gel Coconut for Benna Hand Cream retails for $18. The Riddle Oil Original Roll-On uh, retails for $50. Makeup Drop Hybrid Makeup Applicator retails for $20. And the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask 6-Pack retails for $25. So we can say right here, Gearbox is definitely the cause is covered. And you are getting a really good deal with this subscription. So that is all. Uh, I don't want this video to be that much longer. I will add my link below so you can get $10 off your first box if my link does not work <laughs> um, because I had an issue with that one time. If it does not work, I'm sure you can find it through a celebrity and their website. They do give you $10 off coupons all the time to sign up. That is all for today. Please leave some feedback or like um, and you can also subscribe to my channel. I do have other videos. I don't have a particular theme. Uh, I do like to just post videos about just different things going on or whether it is an unboxing video or a collection or something that I have if you haven't seen my squishables video yet. <laughs> but anyway, that is all. Stay safe. I hope uh, things will get better after 2020 or during 2020. I hope we will see good things eventually come our way.